Unless you live under a rock, then you know who Taylor Swift is. But just in case you don't know, she is a badass, feminist, superstar, singer-songwriter who was the highest paid female musician of the 2010s, named Artist of the Decade in 2019, has 10 Grammy wins, and has sold over 50 million albums. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you can't already tell, I am a die-hard Swifty and have been for as long as I can remember. I would insert photos of me at her concerts with my purple guitar and my Taylor Swift themed birthday parties, but I'm too lazy for that, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. But as you would imagine, when she announced her second surprise album of 2020, I flipped shit. For obvious reasons, I am obsessed with Evermore and have been listening to it nonstop since she released it. <laughs> Taylor Swift is incredible at making you want to break out dancing one minute and break down crying another. And that's how you know her music is powerful. I could go on and on and on about Evermore and its sister album, Folklore, but that would literally take me years. So now you may be wondering, Alana, why? Why are you still talking about Taylor Swift? Just bear with me. I promise I'm going somewhere with this. The morning after the release of Evermore, I was feeling inspired. So naturally, I woke up my mom and made her take photos of me for Instagram. I wanted to capture on camera the lush and beautiful landscape that reminded me of the feeling I got when listening to the music for the first time and when I looked at the photos for the album. After we got back from our mini photo shoot, I changed right back into my pajamas and headed into the kitchen. At this point, it was like 10 a.m. and I was getting hangry. So I decided to make some oatmeal because that fixes every issue. Today, I didn't just make any oatmeal. I made apple cinnamon eggnog oats. Yeah, you heard that right. This recipe I came up with is one of the best seasonal foods I've ever tasted. So I highly suggest you give it a try yourself. Believe me when I say that this oatmeal tastes like a magical vanilla custard cream with a hint of apple cinnamon spice and caramelized deliciousness. If that doesn't sound good to you, quite simply, you're a Grinch. Or you're just flat out insane. Anyway, I'll leave the full recipe in the description box below if you want to try it out for yourself. Also, I've recently started blending my oat base for when I bake my oatmeal, and I feel like it adds a whole other level of pizzazz to my breakfast. Maybe it's just a me thing, but I'm curious if you prefer oats in their natural form or when they are blended when you bake them. I'd be more than happy to have a chat about it in the comment section down below. This recipe definitely took some experimentation. I remember the first time I tried to bake my oats, I didn't combine the liquid with the oat flour. So the top half of the oat batter cooked through and the bottom half was an uncooked oat flour mess. I actually started choking because it was so powdery. I know what you're thinking. Alana, that's such a rookie mistake. But give me a break, even the oatmeal queen makes mistakes every once in a while. But I promise I've got it down to a T now. As always, you can add the toppings of your choice, but Chef Alana recommends apples and strawberries for these festive oats. After I added my tasty toppings, I popped that bad boy into the oven to bake for 20 minutes. I always get hungry while I'm waiting for my food, so I decided to cut up a freshly picked persimmon from my garden. <sighs> she looks beautiful. This looks almost perfect, but it's missing one thing. Come on, you really thought I was going to eat my oatmeal without nut butter? You know better than that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy this sexy montage of my beautiful, beautiful oatmeal. Oh, 
Look at that. Soon after. After I ate my breakfast, I decided to go on a rain walk, and of course, I listened to Evermore. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Lots of turkeys. I gotta get through. Please let me through. I don't want to be attacked. Duh. Look at them, they're soaking wet. No. Oh. My feet are swimming in water. I feel like I just destroyed my shoes. Many hours later. Mommy, where are we going? Uh, to the gym. Yay! <laughs> What are you doing? I'm taking a video. I'm vlogging. It's fine. It's just for the short clip. It's fine. You can't see me. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hello. How are you, baby? Good. How are you? Good. 97.7 enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. Today happened to be an active rest day for me, so I decided to head to our outdoor gym to do some light exercise. The audio in this clip got messed up, but basically what I'm saying is that I just finished my 15 chin-ups for a challenge that's coming up, and now I'm going to walk on the treadmill for about 30 minutes while listening to a podcast that I love called Crime Junkie. I 10 out of 10 recommend this podcast if you're into murder mysteries and true crime stories. Well, that's it for this fitness vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to stick around for more fitness content, subscribe to my channel below. I'll be posting some more really fun content during the month of December. So stay tuned for that. I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.